I decided to think of what are five things that I wish I had said in 2012 and I would try to apply those things to 2013 because I felt that they were holding me back. The first one, I don't agree. Very often I think we can become pleasers and we're trying to work with clients or other people and we start to bite off maybe more than we can handle or someone is asking more from us and we feel so afraid to sometimes say, I don't agree with that. Sometimes saying no to someone is the best way to honor yourself. So while I don't want to be a more argumentative person, but I also want to make sure that in this new year that I'm honoring myself, that I'm honoring my goals, that if I sign on to something that becomes more than I expected, I say, look, I don't agree with this. I have to protect myself. It feels awkward at first, but I think over time it's a long-term strategy for saving yourself some of that time. Next thing I really want to make sure I'm doing is I want to make sure I'm saying to people, you're doing a great job under the circumstances. How many times are you in a store or in some sort of situation where you're dealing with service employees and it looks like everyone called in sick except for one person and there's a huge line out the door? Very often I think we find that we blame that one person who actually showed up that day and is trying to deal with a tough situation. And while we may hate the management that put them in that situation, Maybe we need to show some compassion to that person who did show up, who had the courage to take on that challenge. Next thing I want to make sure I'm saying to people, let me say that again. Sometimes not just when I stumble on a word or something, but you can get trapped when you, something just comes out of your mouth in the spur of the moment. Maybe you were trying to make a joke that didn't land or something like that but you end up defining yourself by a comment that is not really about you and who you are and what you are. And I realize I want to make sure that I have the courage in that moment to say to people, you know what, that's not me. I'm so sorry I said that. Let me try to say that again. Now this doesn't happen that often, but I find the times it does can really burn bridges with people. The two other things I want to say, it sounds like they're going to contradict each other a little bit. The next thing that I wish I would have said to people, the word, yes. Very often, I may be presented with opportunities to do cool things, to meet cool people, expand my horizons, but sometimes it's like, well, Ken, you gotta work on that, uh, this thing or that thing, or shouldn't you be doing this? And I realize that I am sometimes turning myself off from experiences that could broaden my horizons, that could give me a new opportunity to do things. So I said, okay, in the new year, I'm gonna try to say yes to more things. Because as far as I know, this is the one shot we have. Why not take advantage of those opportunities that you're given? Some of those chances I've had, I mean, I look at, I've been able to fly in the cockpit of, of fighter jets. I've you know, gotten to go up in hot air balloons. I once met a guy who turned an armchair into a motorized vehicle and I raced him in the streets of that. So I realized that so many of these good experiences that happened to me in my life came from saying that one simple word, yes. Now, as I said, I'm gonna contradict myself a little bit because the next word I'm gonna say is no. And you're like, okay, is he trying to make sure we're paying attention? Is this the cake talking? No. Sometimes, Kind of as alluded to before, you have to protect your time. And this can come from family and friends or clients, employers. Sometimes you need to make sure you're setting barriers and you think about, are you being helpful or are you being taken advantage of? You have to make sure that you're weighing these opportunities to make sure that you're protecting yourself. It's again, honoring yourself. A no to someone is often a yes to yourself. So just think about that.